There is an event coming. And in life, it's coming soon. It's called death. Death is coming. And we don't even know when it will come. It may come before afternoon. It may come this afternoon. It may come tonight. It may take a while. But outside the rapture of the church, death will come. You will die. The wages of sin is death. You are a sinner, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And being a sinner, your paycheck is death. Death is more sure than taxes. I mean, you pretty much know when your taxes are due, but you don't know when your due date is for death. And that being sinner, the most dangerous thing you can do is being a sinner and dying in your sins. Because a person that dies in their sins have, has not believed on the finished work of Jesus Christ. They died in rejection and rebellion against God, Jesus Christ. That the wages of sin is death. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God and that the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world you can be sin cleansed and you can be holy and righteous through Jesus before you die When God has said, come now, let us reason together, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. And that is through the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That thou shalt believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, Thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have ever lasting life through the one that said Jesus 
speaking of himself, that he is the way, the truth, and the light. There is no access to God the Father except through Jesus, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world before you die. That you are a sinner, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God that the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That he that hath the Son hath everlasting life, that he has not the Son shall not see light, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And that name is the Lord Jesus Christ. That only only through Jesus Christ are you able and can be saved from the wrath of God. And the wrath of God is hell. 